welcome to this video. My name is Anna. I'm a second year psychology student. Um, I have my own YouTube channel where I talk about uni and psychology stuff. And today I'm talking about a very interesting theory. You may have heard of this theory before or you may have never heard of it before but you probably have heard some of the terms that I will be using that are the names of different personality types and that is the EPI which is Isink's personality inventory. If you do A-level psychology and you did the or you are doing the the crime part of the exam then you will learn about this or you have already learned about this very interesting so i'll start talking a little bit about the history of this theory and isenc and how it came about um, and then i'll explain the different types or dimensions of personality that isenc created according to isenc biology plays a huge role in our personality and this theory is a kind of biological theory so it has science and it has biology to back it up so a little bit about the history and like what's it to do with biology basically so according to the research done it's to do with your nervous system and your ability to adapt to new situations and events it also has an impact on how you learn which goes into how you react to certain situations which basically makes up your personality. During the 1940s, Isenck was working in a psychiatric hospital in London. His job was to make assessments of patients before the disorder was diagnosed by a psychiatrist. During his time there and with all the work that he did, he noticed something, he noticed a pattern. Isenck created a questionnaire that he gave out to 700 soldiers who were being treated at the hospital. He noticed that the answers linked with each other. So like um, a couple soldiers had similar answers and like he noticed various patterns between them. This suggested that there must be a link and that link is personality. And then Isenck used a technique called factor analysis, uh, which basically groups behavior into certain factors. So from this research, I think found that behavior can be described by two dimensions. Um, and this is what you probably have heard of already, even if you're not a psychology student and you've never learned about this, you hear these terms used quite a lot because personality is a huge thing. Like you see it everywhere. I think also found that each part of our personality can be traced back to biological factors and that is all to do with our autonomic nervous system and it's to do with the balance between excitation and inhibition and those processes occur in our autonomic nervous system now on to the personality types i'm gonna start talking about the two dimensions which were found first the first one is extroversion and introversion so you have probably heard of extroverts and introverts you yourself probably identify as one of them. So you kind of already know what they are, but I want to just like summarize what they are. So an extrovert, also known as like the social butterfly. It's someone who seeks adventure. They love to be around people. They love to be like the center of attention. They're more likely to take more risks because they get bored easily. So they seek stimulation. They're just like a very excited person, but that's how I imagine someone as an extrovert, like someone who's just has so much energy and spontaneous ideas and like that summarized as an extrovert um, and I think has an explanation for this why people who are extroverts behave the way they do the reason for that is because they have a under aroused nervous system so they seek stimulation um, to create a balance basically on the other end of the scale we have introverts which are basically the opposite of that they are people who love to be by themselves they're like content by themselves um they don't like huge crowds they prefer to have a smaller group of friends it could be someone who is shy someone who just likes to be alone prefers quiet time the reason for that is because they have a over aroused nervous system they prefer to be in a more calm environment to create a balance so that's the first dimension the second dimension is neurotism and stability so neurotism um the behavior according to isenc is caused by their sympathetic nervous system an individual who who has this type of personality their autonomic nervous system responds quicker to stress so the behaviors that someone with this type of personality 
will show. They are quick to worry, get scared. They're quick to react with anger. They are over emotional. They might find it harder to calm down, experience high levels of stress and anxiety. They also may feel like they can't cope with stresses so stressful situations are really bad for them so when their expectations are not met they may react with anger or stress or worry basically all those things that i mentioned and on the opposite end of the scale is stability uh, which is someone who's kind of like more stable so in stressful situations their behavior will be the opposite so they'll be more calm just react like calmly and more peacefully. The third dimension was added on later by Iseng and it's the psychotism and normality dimension. This one kind of just is a range of psychotism, like the levels of psychotism, ranging from low levels to high levels. How to explain psychotism is basically someone who is troublesome, someone who is alone, like antisocial, they may lack in empathy, they may be cruel and the biology behind this is it's related to high levels of testosterone so the high levels means more likely to display psychotic behaviour and lower levels are related to like more normal behaviour. The type of personality traits for this dimension would be someone who is more likely to rebel, the need for instant gratification, someone who doesn't adapt to social norms and like is a rule breaker and doesn't agree with the world around them. And if you studied A-level psychology and this part of A-level psychology then you would know that this is related to crime because criminals are more likely to display this type of personality, psychotism, because they won't adapt to social norms, they will break rules, instant gratification all kind of personality traits that, that link with criminality. There should be a picture on the screen that you can see the kind of like opposite ends of the scale and the type of personality traits that someone may show. Uh, so we have introvert and extrovert and unstable and stable. And then you can also see that there are four types of personality as well, which is a different theory, but you can see the type of behaviors that people might show with, with these personality types. Okay, that will be all. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was interesting. If you've never heard of these theories before, maybe you learned something new, or maybe you've heard of this before and you didn't know like the psychology, the research behind it. If you want to check out my own channel, it's Study With Anna. But yeah, that will be all. So thank you for watching.